continue now with lesson six, which is a continuation of the material from lesson two, which dealt with everything melodic. <clears throat> By everything melodic, I mean scales and arpeggios and intervals. We'll try to at least cover some things about scales and arpeggios today. Maybe we may not get to intervals, but that'll be down the road. Just by uh, way of review, in lesson two, we talked a lot about playing scales on one string. And one thing that uh, I perhaps did not mention that's a very good thing to do is to just learn to play the scales, the familiar scales, major, harmonic, and mo melodic minor scales on just one string. For example, if I were uh, playing uh, just a C scale uh, on the first string. I just play notes from the key of C. I might do the same thing on the second string. Now, this does start on C. so on. If I went to the third string, then starting on G. And you could use different fingerings. The idea is to be able to see a scale along the board and again to, <clears throat> as a, by way of explanation, whenever I'm going this way, from the head note in the direction of the sound box, I'm always saying along. If I go from the sixth string directly toward the first string, I'm calling that a cross. Not that my terms are any better than, than any others, but if I use those terms, that's what I'm meaning by it. Anyway, as I was playing the C scale now, I'm on the fourth string, and uh, if I were on the fifth string, So, like I say, it is...